all you horror freaks out there, this is the Strange Monkey coming at you with another horror movie review. This time we will be reviewing the classic 1974 film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, directed by the late great Toby Hooper. The year is 1974. A group of five close friends are heading through the back roads of Texas en route to their grandfather's potentially vandalized grave. Among them are Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother Franklin. They drive past a slaughterhouse, pick up a sinister hitchhiker, or eat some deliciously home-cured meat at a roadside gas station before ending up at the old family home, where they're plunged into a never-ending nightmare as they meet a family of cannibals who more than make up in power tools what they lack in social skills. <sighs> Sounds like a good time to me. Toby Hooper had some difficulty shooting this film. Uh, apparently, he would try, due to the limited budget that he had, he would shoot the film for several hours during the week to try to get this film done as quickly as possible in order to decrease the cost of the uh, rental, any, any equipment that he had, you know? And I'd say that was a smart idea, you know? Now, if it was a big budget, that would be different. But, you know, in that case, gotta do what you gotta do to get by to finish this film and create a classic which is what he did Toby Hooper was trying to uh, lower the level of gore in this film and almost got it to a PG rating but the uh, Motion Picture Association of America said nah -uh, sir too much we're gonna make this rated R could you imagine the Texas Chainsaw as a PG or a PG film that would be absolutely ridiculous what would Leatherface be doing Chasing you around with a toy hammer or something? Like what? <laughs> or a little plastic chainsaw? No. Not my kind of movie. I don't think so. This film is one of the most influential horror films of all time. In case you didn't know. This is one of the first films that you saw the use of power tools as weapons to kill people. And as well as, you know, having this hulking figure chasing after you with a chainsaw. With a weird looking disfigured mask. You never saw that. This was before Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, before Jason came along. You know, this was the original. I don't count Psycho, because Psycho's a completely different situation. You know what I mean. There were scenes in this film that made me uncomfortable, and a lot of people as well. You see Leatherface taking people. Hey, spoiler, spoiler alert. I'm sorry, 1974 was a long time ago. There were scenes where he would take people, put them on hooks, he would hide them in freezers, hit people in the head with a hammer, and just whoop, whoop, whoop. It was insane. And yes, of course, he uses the chainsaw, cut people up, because why Why else would they call this the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? It was marketed as a true story. You know, this is all based on real events. No, not really. This was based on the murderer Ed Gein, or Ed Gein, whatever. I think it's Ed Gein. But yeah, he would uh, do similar things with people's bodies and this and that. It's just disgusting. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Anyway, folks, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was very enjoyable, and I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Enjoyable. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Strange Monkey. Hey, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on there. Instagram, Facebook, like me on there, too. I have been a strange monkey, and hey, have yourselves a good fright. I'm coming at you with an imaginary chainsaw. <laughs>